Here we are at part one of my video walkthrough for Breath of Fire. On the character select screen here, naming my character. I usually name the uh, character in the Breath of Fire games Ryu. I like fast message speed, and um, here we get to customize what the other four buttons do. I like to have uh, the Y key as item and the X key as equip, which I thought about. There we go. The L key is magic, and the R key is change, which uh, changes what party members are in a party. We'll be doing that a lot later. Let's uh, get this game started here. We're in a burning house, which if we uh, search the flaming chest there, we'll find a vitality potion. Following the old lady out of the house here. Oh no, a fire is blocking my path. Good thing she can uh, put it out with the ice spell there. And if we uh, follow her down the stairs here, uh, we'll have some story. Which, uh, you can read that when you play the game there. Get our uh, starting treasure chest here. Alright, I can come back if I need a rest. 300 gold. It's a fairly decent starting package here. Outside of the... Uh, house there, this little shrine here is the dragon shrine. This is how we save the game. It's by talking to the dragon lord here. It's always a good idea to uh, save frequently. Heading out of the dragon shrine, we're gonna head over to the left. And here's the item shop in the weapon shop for our starting town. I like to uh, spend my starting money buying a uh, arm pad. Uh, the reason for that is it's the only piece of equipment that he sells that's uh, better than anything in the upcoming dungeon. Go ahead and use my Vitality Potion. Then we're going to head out and work on getting our beginning levels here. Here's an example of the combat system. See, I'm uh, in combat with two flea enemies. Which, uh, they take a couple hits a piece to kill, but uh, as you can tell, we're fairly tough. Takes a little bit for the enemies to beat us down while we're running around out here. All right, level two. Got us some stat boost there. Levels are uh, fairly important in this game. They give you a lot of, a lot more power, but a uh, good equipment is also important. If we uh, come back in here and talk to this, uh, the old lady here, she'll uh, let us rest for free. Then I'm heading back over to do the uh, shrine here and save. See if we can't manage to get ourselves up to level three. Here I'm in a fight with a bully enemy. Bulla enemy. As you can see, it takes a couple hits to kill. But uh, most of the enemies at the beginning are just straight melee, so nothing. None of this should be too uh, terribly difficult. All right, level three. Head back in. Rest up and save and whatnot. Here I'm gonna fight with two bullet enemies. As you can see, I killed that one in one hit. That level up uh, did do a little bit of good there. All right, level four. After heading in and uh, resting up and saving, we're ready to uh, travel out in the world a little bit here. First, we should uh, stop by the item shop. I think uh, three antidotes is sufficient for the next part. There's a lot of poisoning going on in this next upcoming dungeon. 
heading out from the town of Drogan. If we just uh, follow the path around here, we will reach Camelin. And uh, talking to the people here finds that uh, the Dark Dragons came and destroyed their town and their castles overrun with monsters. They needed a brave hero to come in and rid the monsters. Sounds like a good opportunity to get some experience and treasure. Up here we have a restorative fountain. This will make our uh, grinding up to level 6 fairly quick and efficient. Here's a battle with a beak enemy. As you can see it shouldn't be uh, anything too hard. Although he did put a hurtin' on me. But if we just head up here and uh, drink the clear water, it will restore all of our health. One enemy that uh, you'll probably want to take note of here is the pea bugs. They are incapable of doing any direct damage, but they have a, the only attack that they do is a poison that has a 100% chance of working. Which is very annoying. That's why we needed to uh, get some antidotes before we left town. Fortunately though, while we're uh, leveling up here, the nice clear water here will get rid of the poison. And eventually, after uh, killing multiple enemies, we will work ourselves up to level 6. Or level 5, I'm sorry. Alright. Fortunately, Camlin Cam does have a dragon shrine for which we can save, even though they don't possess any shops right at the moment. As you can see there, I got uh, poisoned by some of those pea bugs on my way out, so I gotta look all goofy colored. I'm not sure how much damage the poison does in this game per step. Alright, I can finally get rid of that annoying poison. Here's a creep enemy, which, uh, they look kind of freaky. Alright, level 6. Now we're ready to go explore the dungeon and take on the boss. But first we should probably uh, head out and save.